Can you make plushies in the oven? Let's find out. Don't wait for tomorrow. Dr. Squish, welcome back. Uh, I've missed you. I haven't seen you in a while. I am going to be baking up some plushies today. You heard me right. I found the weirdest brand new toy I want to review. It's the cookies. It is cookies, right? Cookies makery, not bakery. Makery. These look like little fake ovens, toy ovens. It's actually really, really cute. Like the whole box experience is a little oven. And apparently you make dough. Did anybody else ever have an easy bake oven? I can still remember how it all tasted. And you put the dough in the oven and out comes a plushie. Like, listen, I'm not, you know, like an expert in physics and chemistry, but I don't think that's how it works. Anyway, I got two of them. I found these on Amazon and I paid 34.99, 35 bucks for this. So I wanna let you know if it is worth your money to buy this thing uh, or not. So here it is. It's the Cookies Makery. There were two different kinds you could get. This one is the Cinnamon Treats. And then this one, they look almost exactly the same. This one's blue packaging and this one's pink. Cinnamon Treats and then this one is Baked Treats. I mean, technically Cinnamon Treats are also Baked Treats, but I think there's just different plushies that will come out of the oven. It looks like the Baked Treats are all like bread bread loaves, and then the cinnamon treats are all like cinnamon rolls. We'll see if they're worth my, my money or not. We'll see if they're worth your money or not. I feel like they, they, there should be warnings all over this box, like don't put your plushies in the real oven kind of a thing, but let's go. All right, so we are going to see what's in uh, the cookies makery. We're starting with the baked treats first. Baked treats, there's three different baked treats. It says they're interactive. I'm so confused with this toy. When I first saw it, I was like, what is this toy? I don't get it. And then people were like, it's like magic mixies. You know, you're you're gonna put some stuff in and then get a toy out, but this one's oven related. All right, so let's see how I open this box. Uh, I'm, okay. This, okay. First impressions. This feels like cardboard. So I just took it out of a box, but this is also a box. I mean, it feels kind of like a cereal box. You know what I mean? Like, it's definitely cardboard. You guys, like this is a cardboard toy. The, the door is plastic. I am in shock that this is literally cardboard. Like, I'm not making this up. You can, all right, I'm, I don't know. Let's take this out. So like all of these, blue pieces and it is really cute that's actually it's all really really cute but this is just cardboard all of the purple pieces are plastic um the door is plastic the bottom is plastic it shows all the things we get the ingredients the mold we get a measuring cup a spatula so first off i have to release the screws from the bottom of the oven aha uh -huh. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Now I assume this right here means that you're gonna need adult supervision. I don't have a more adultier adult than me, so I I, I will just have to, to wing it. And then it, it get warms, like you can make it get warm. I don't know. I don't know guys, like I'm a bit weirded out by a plushie that gets warm. Okay, I got my slime making bowl. Let's set the oven back here. Here's my little box. It says bake treats mix, a recipe for love. These are the ones that I can get. Strangely excited, but also nervous. Oh, so it gives you a little bag to put the dough in so you can do it all over again. So it's not like a one-time deal, which is cool. So I have a little puppy mold. Does that mean I'm gonna get the puppy? And I am supposed to put both of these in. They look exactly the same, but it says do not eat. So you're gonna make, need to make sure your kids don't eat this. And it only says put one of these in to the brim. There we go. And it says we add one of these. And then it gave us a spoon and we're supposed to mix it for two minutes. Okay, now after we have mixed it for two minutes, you can get in there with your hands. Let's see. And squish it into a dough. Okay, that made a pretty good 
dough, I think. So let's put it in here. Then this has little toe beans. See? Make a little toe bean in there. Little toe bean in there. Now I can pop it out of here. Like, <laughs> look, cute. Nice! It's perfect! It's so cute! <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna open this. And it's, there's a little yellow tab you're supposed to pull down. That's actually kind of, oh, okay, I did it. It was kind of hard. I'm going to put him inside, place dough in the oven. There he is. Bye, guys. Close the door. I closed the door, so now I'm supposed to turn this till it clicks. <gasps> it made like a big gadonk. And now there's a timer, and you're supposed to wait a minute and a half for the bell to ring. Let's wait, shall we? I don't know if you guys can hear that. It made a little noise. It was like, whoa! Okay, let's open up the oven and see. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Here we go. It's actually hard to open. <gasps> it's there! Oh, it worked! Okay. Ta-da! Look how cute! Okay, it is not... It is a bit warm. Now, when it says warm, take the entirety of how it feels, and it's a little bit warm up here. Up here. Holy cow, that smells good, you guys. Oh my gosh, it smells good. Okay, so I got the little pup. I don't remember its name. Barky Bun. So I got Barky Bun. It's a little puppy. So I'm wondering if this shows you who you're going to get. It's so cute. It smells divine. It's just a little bit warm here. Not hot. It's so cute. So I think it's only got like two things that it says and does, but that's actually super freaking cute. Okay, so what do I think? So first up, this is adorable and it smells so good. It reminds me of popcorn from Disney World. <laughs> Tokyo Disneyland has some of the best popcorn in the whole park would just smell like this amazing buttery popcorn. And this kind of smells like that, like sweet and buttery. The interactive part of it's not that great, uh, but it is really cute. I think that it opens up and has a, a battery pack in there, so you could, I think you can turn it on and off. But it's so freaking cute! That was a cute concept. I am not impressed that the whole thing is made out of cardboard. That's not gonna... Wait a minute. Wait, where's my... <gasps> smells good in there. So, can I... Oh, okay, so I can lift this back up. Ta-da! Magic! Okay, and there's my puppy. I think that that's probably just air dry clay, and then I can put it back in here, and that's, I think this is pretty cool. Air dry clay. There you go, so I can, I can do it all over again. I didn't think I was gonna be impressed with this, but that's actually really cute. If this one smells like bread, is the cinnamon treats one's gonna smell like an amazing cinnamon roll? Okay, let's go make the cinnamon treats one and see what I get. So cute. I could just smell this all day long. Alrighty, so you know the drill. Here is the cookies makery. I gotta get it all out of the box. This is the cinnamon treats one. So it looks like I am either going to get, I could get another dog, a cat, or a bunny. I, I hope they smell like really strongly of cinnamon. Let's get in the box. He went to sleep. He, I set him aside and he went to sleep. So when you press his back, he does two things. But when he was sitting there for a while, then he started snoring. Cute. Okay. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Way cuter than I was giving it credit for. Okay. So here we go with the pink one, the cinnamon treats one. The, the door is a bit hard to get open. So here's my box. Now let's look. Okay. I definitely got a bunny. So we'll see if I get the bunny cinnamon roll. We're just using my dirty bowl again. This feels like it makes air dry clay. I'm not sure how long it will last in that bag, but that's what it feels like. All right, two minutes of mixing. Okay, now I'm gonna get in there with my hands and form a little dough ball. Okay, so what do we think? I think there is some awesome interactive play here. Making dough is just fun. Molding dough is just fun. Let's make a bunny. Let's give it some toe beans. Oh, what is this? Is that it? I'm gonna give it that. I don't know what that is. 
that what bunnies have? I don't know. I like the toe beans better. Toe beans and whatever those are. <laughs> All right. Squeeze it to get it out of the mold. Woo. And I have a little bun bun. Okay. Let's bake my bunny. We got to pull whatever this is down. Oh, that one came out much easier. Okay. Let's put the bunny in the oven. Bye. You got to shut it for the magic to happen. The gadonk is hilarious to me. Let's see. <laughs> okay, now we gotta wait a minute and a half. You guys hear that? So it knows what you're getting because when I got the puppy out, it barked. And this one, I heard it go. So I'm guessing we know this is a rabbit. <gasps> Adorable! Holy cow! You guys look! <gasps> birthday cake. I know that this the bunny was supposed to be strawberry. Oh, it's warmer than the doggy. Like, this is much warmer. And when I say warm, imagine like those those little sachets, those little pouches that you shake in the wintertime to put in your mittens. You know how it gets warm? It's like warm like that. Okay, ready? <gasps> this bunny smells like cotton candy. Everything about it was reminding me like of the fair. Like this one kind of smells like buttered popcorn and this one smells like strawberry cotton candy. Oh, you guys, I like this toy way more than I imagined. All right, let's see what it says. Okay, so this one is adorable. Look at his little swirl and there's the top of it and it's got a little cotton tail. Oh, he's got one too. Hot cross buns, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that's so cute. Now, I wanna show you the, we can get the bun back. It's got like a little place for your finger there. You just lift up and you can kind of reset the oven and play again and get my bun back, put it in my little uh, resealable bag here. I'm wondering how long these resealable bags will work uh, before that dries out because it does kind of just feel like air dry clay, but I mean, even if it dried out, it wouldn't matter. You're supposed to have the little bun, right? Look, look at my plushies, you guys. Okay, what do I think of the cookies makery? I fully expected maybe not to love this, but I do love it. Now, is it worth $35? Was it worth me spending 35 bucks on Amazon? I think so, just simply because you could play with this over and over, like you could reset it and do it again. They smell so good and it was fun. It took probably, from start to finish, getting it out, maybe 15 minutes, and then you have an adorable scented plushie that gets warm and makes noises. Yeah, I think it was worth $35. The only thing that I don't love is that the oven itself is made of cardboard. It's got plastic components and it's made of cardboard. I mean, maybe you prefer that over another plastic toy. I get it, but also it feels like it's not very, st I don't know, it's, it's sturdy cardboard. I just don't know. It's fairly sturdy, but I do also know that kids can really, really wreck their toys, <laughs> even plastic ones. So, you know, I don't know, maybe cardboard's fine, but it is just a box with plastic parts. I don't know, you, you'll have to let me know if you think that that's good or bad. I'm not really sure how I feel about that, but the plushies are freaking adorable. I... He went to sleep again. She hasn't gone to sleep yet. So you're gonna have to let me know, do you think $35 is a good price for this? Can you see your kids playing with this? Is it a good deal? Are they adorable? They are. Do you want one? Please subscribe to Dr. Squish if you have not done so already. Make sure and leave me a comment about what you thought about all this and I will see you on my next show. Bye bye, Squishy fans.